वेलकम बैक टू आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ डॉन ऑफ मैन आई होप यू हैड अ ग्रेट वर्क वीकेंड एंड नाउ यू आर रेडी टू रिलैक्स एंड वॉच आवर फुल्ली प्लैंड फर्स्ट ह्यूमन सिटी ऑफ प्री हिस्ट्री द ओजिमेंडियन किंगडम गो टूवर्ड्स कॉम्पिटिशन टूडे वी विल बी एक्सपेंडिंग आवर हाउसिंग आफ्टर अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल हार्वेस्ट with plenty of resources uh, especially straw uh, lying about and we will remember our great hero goregol who fell last time even the nature weeps for him there is a fierce blizzard going on so we will uh, ring the alarm bell for a quick second and then uh, make sure everybody comes back to base Uh, changes into wool outfits because uh, oh dry skin outfits because we have plenty of that we have 82 for a population of 69 and we have the whole harvest uh, lying out there so uh, let's go over the harvesting uh, harvesting is of course going to be your main primary uh, source of So there are several parameters that you would have to fill full every year to ensure that you don't uh, meet a gruesome hunger games uh, kind of death uh, for your whole colony. So if you are seeing that uh, like right now we have a bunch of uh, straw and grain sitting out there not collected. Maybe they are not even collected Uh, this entire winter and it gets uh, carried over to the spring whereby we will be doing the uh, the planting so that's no good okay if you're a vegan then look away this is a bunch of uh, meat that is drying so yeah vegans uh, sorry i couldn't put the disclaimer out in time uh, make sure you look away this is a bunch of meat there's like 200 pieces of meat uh, hanging out to dry now um ideally like in the best case scenario so that most of the time you won't be able to hit uh you want to make sure that in the winter itself you bring all your harvest uh materials in so all the things that you have harvested grain straw all of that is brought in so that you do not need to do that action when uh, the spring hits because you would be busy planting ideally as soon as your um f- season for harvesting hits so that's the fall season you want everybody to go and get uh, to harvesting so for that reason uh, you don't want extra tasks to be put in the season before which is summer so you don't want to put down a lot of uh, rock collection or a bunch of uh, trees to be cut down Uh, so we also went and reduced our limits for rock collection because we want to have a few rocks uh, uh, nearby because uh, that is instrumental to our growth however it's not that important in the neolithic age or the upcoming copper age it will become very important bronze age onwards whereby you can build uh, st- round houses with stone you can build stone walls you can build uh, stone animal stables but we are not there yet so we'll just keep 20 ish so that we can build mortars and hearths uh, so on and so forth uh, to be able to carry forward our construction so that will help us uh, lower our uh, workload see we have a bunch of uh, immigrants coming in let's see how many are there 1 2 3 6 that's great Six immigrants is amazing. So six uh, in this age is just best. So you are uh, we are doing the best job possible for the colony, right? Six immigrants is uh, oh this is really really good. We have hit seventy five population, uh, which is a milestone. So we get um, a knowledge point out uh, for that, right? Now to ensure a good harvest. you want to have at least 75% of your population um equipped with uh, harvesting tools 
so that is sickles and of course the higher quality of sickle that you have the better so th there is twofold two two reasons for that first if you have a higher tier of sickle so a bronze instead of copper they last longer right so if the tool breaks while you are harvesting then your caveman is going to stop what he is doing go back to wherever there is a sickle and that might be to the opposite end of the colony right it could be sitting in the warehouse in the fourth quadrant so pretty far away and all of that time is wasted while you are trying to harvest so you don't want um, the population uh, to be uh, equipped with lower tier uh, tools or weapons weapons of a lower tier have lower damage they also wear out faster so we're going to use our trader to get rid of all of these redundant older age um, tools and weapons as and when um, we progress now the second reason is that when you have a higher tier of tool then you require lesser number of actions to get that job done so for example if uh, with a flint axe you need to hit a tree 22 times but with a steel or a or an iron or a bronze or a copper you require far less uh, of course uh, with steel being the least um, we won't rush uh, up our uh, our um, uh, population because we want to make sure that we have the number of people to be able to defend ourselves if we rush and we go up then we are going to be penalized because then the uh, raiders will also gain uh, technology and we won't be able to keep up however we won't of course uh, sit uh, idle and um, then th the raiders are going to be able to level up on their own and then we won't be able to uh, meet them head on even if we have the numbers so we are going to of course balance and uh, that's the whole point of this game it's always balance we are now going to build five more houses uh, for this quadrant because we are expanding our uh, our housing and uh, we are going to build five houses and we are going to put up um, towers so that that's where the gates will go and they are attracted to towers and they are attracted to uh, gates especially gates so uh, we are going to ensure every gate has got two towers at least as you can see over here on your screen now your corners are going to be your strong points and that is where attacks are going to come in now once you have a corner you have the enemy at one point with both flanks firing at the uh, at the troops uh, or the enemy troops which have massed near the corner therefore you want to build the largest concentration of towers that you can uh, given the number of um, uh, empty spaces you have so you want as soon as you see that there is an empty spot you want to go and build a tower especially near the corner points try to ensure that your collection points are near uh, to your uh, base so the farther it is then the more they have to walk so you can clearly see that it was winter but we could not bring in the previous harvest so that of course has got two negative uh, aspects to it one you are doing it in the uh, in this season as you can see this is the planting season so we are now going to have to plant we are also going to have to collect tannin and we will also have to do uh, the uh, uh, collection of this uh, older um, amount of uh, goods that we got the previous year and of course uh, you can check on the screen we have 53 raw skin so as soon as you collect tannin you are going to be able to make leather so they are going to come back to base and they will start making leather all the while all they need to be doing is actually just making uh, the plant uh, the planting happen so yeah so that already tells me a little bit that okay we are planting way too much although conventional wisdom is that for every 10 population you want to put down one five by five farm 
So we have 70 population and we have put down four five by fives. So it isn't that we have planted more than we should have. That tells me that, hey, we have given them tasks, for example, uh, collecting of branches, collecting of stone, collecting of cutting down trees. That uh, in the previous turn is the one which is causing trouble for us in this season. But okay, as we get more people, uh, our problems are going to get solved. That is the whole point of this game. The more people you have, the more uh, force projection you can do. You can defend yourself uh, far more, even if you are just a little bit out of age uh, with uh, with uh, enemy, you will still be able to hold on. So our houses are getting built uh, while we are trying to plant. That's no good. As you can see, we have plenty of food uh, going around. We have now hit 460 food for 75 population. So that's quite a lot. We have all the animals that we need. We are slaughtering animals uh, because we are over the limit. So that is all uh, holding up the show for us uh, because we have got uh, the planting to do and we are unable to do that because we are busy with building. We are uh, slaughtering animals. We are cutting down trees. So that's why. But it's okay. We have quite a lot of overabundance of food. So it's fine. Our towers are going up and our planting is also happening and we have uh, put down four full farms and one half a farm. So uh, we have uh, 75 people so we could essentially have seven five by five fields. Uh, we just have four so planting will go through I think almost till 90%. Now on your screen I actually have made a mistake. There are six houses in a row. So probably I will correct it uh, later down the line. I apologize for that. Uh, there are six houses. There shouldn't be. Uh, there should be five houses and then two towers. So I uh, did not notice it while I was building it. We have also placed uh, food dryers right next to the uh, right next to the granary. So that is the maximum efficiency that you can have for uh, for drying meat. That you have um, the food dryer right next to the granary. So first uh, what they are going to do, they are going to either hunt or slaughter an animal. They will pick up the raw meat and preferably they will put it into the granary if they have space. Or because uh, the AI is a bit dumb, they will put it into a house. We have made sure that no... A food item goes into granary uh, warehouses so we go in and we manually change uh, and ensure that they don't put food inside warehouses because granaries give the most amount of time uh, extension of time for food storage now uh, so they are going to take the food they're going to put it uh, preferably into the granary they're going to take it out of the granary if it is raw meat and they're going to put it to the food dryer where is the food dryer one tile away then they are going to wait for that food to dry as soon as that meat dries they're going to pick it up and they're going to put it into the warehouse where is the uh, into the granary where is the granary right next to the food dryer. in this entire playthrough we are not going to fish 
the reason for that is one we do not need the knowledge points we have plenty of knowledge points we're swimming in knowledge points we have 97 knowledge points second as soon as you fish not only are you taking up slots for them to go and fish so that's an extra task you are bringing uh, all of these food dryers are going to now see that hey i have one piece of raw uh, undried fish so all of those uh, food dryers that we are building especially uh, because we are building the first man architecture that beautiful first man uh, stylized form here you can see the lower half of that all of those uh, are going to open up and say hey i want uh, you to dry this one piece of uh, fish out there so all of those are going to be redundant tasks and they're going to be triggered as soon as you have one unit of raw fish as you saw in our workload we don't have any uh, raw fish so there are uh, request items uh, so job requests for uh, drying meat not for drying uh, fish so it helps us uh, by not uh, creating additional tasks we have completed all of the harvesting and uh, we have got we are going to ring the bell for that reason so everybody will reset and go and do their tasks we have a lot of raw meat we are having uh, some issues with uh, lack of uh, knives so i'm going to push it up to 75 i have 50 percent of uh, adults uh, equipped with knives but 50 percent is really the threshold and that triggers the ai and uh, requests that uh, we build more of these um, knives so we push up the limit just a little bit we have 27 sleds for 81 population so we want to increase it a little bit you want to have it close to a half of adults should be having uh, sleds but we don't have that many orders uh, for heavy duty stuff like cutting down trees or mining happening right now so we don't need as many but uh, we will try to push slowly to go towards half of the adults having uh, being equipped with sleds We put in manual order for uh, items to be built because in this age uh, we want to ensure that we have all the uh, requisite number of uh, tools and weapons so the for example the number of uh, knives goes up to 75 percent of the adult population because in the next stage once we hit the copper age we are going to get pulled in a lot of different directions we are going to have to set up all of our metallurgical needs so we'll have to set up uh, charcoal furnaces charcoal pits we'll have to set up uh, the the furnaces the initial level one furnaces we will have to make uh, copper uh, ore mines so that takes time all of that takes a lot of time it takes a lot of wood and mud and therefore we will ensure that they already have all of these um, uh, tools and weapons in their disposal we have quite a low amount of workload now in the summer we are uh, not uh, planting any pulses in winter therefore we don't have any harvesting jobs in summer so this is the summer when we build things when we get a uh, little bit of uh, sled building we get all of our tools uh, up to scratch so we are going to put in order for some trees to be cut down so that we can expand our housing so after that uh, big planting season they have a little bit of time to relax uh, they can uh, go in and uh, pray they can eat they can drink they can go and sleep so all of these are hidden tasks which we don't see once we um, um, once you look at the tasks panel it only tells you what active tasks are there and then you have to account for say 30 percent of extra workload uh, which involves uh, rest and recreation 
our chopping of trees is going on so i uh, go to uh, primal vision then i am uh, i'm able to see much better we are picking up branches really really quickly so across this little uh, hillock is the second best branch collection area in this entire map which is near to our um, our base of course and there is one more uh, to the south and that is really a lot of branches but uh, yeah i can't uh, maintain that because uh, they will uh, go on a very long walking trip to pick up one branch i would rather cut down trees and have branches than them going on this long walk also one little trick that you can do is you can build a wood storage area next to this branch collection um, that we are putting down however when raiders come they are going to break this one down they will definitely do that so uh, yeah okay there is a really cool trick so if you see trees uh, going in, growing inside your branch uh, into uh, inside your base you want to uh, do some planting uh, of random things so we know this is out of season for barley so we barley planted and that takes out these uh, pesky trees which are coming back because i want to build uh, and i want to have open area to be able to build i don't want these uh, uh, trees to come in and then they are uh, young trees and then if i cut them down i don't get as much uh, wood and i still have to do the cutting of the tree so those are useless tasks therefore we go in and put in uh, this uh, dummy um, planting we have 12 uh, dryers at present and we have that gives us a capacity of drying 72 um, uh, units of meat and we have 78 raw meat so we are still able to keep up with production during um, harvesting season and planting season it's very important to switch to primal vision and continuously scan we are not looking for opportunities or especially of hunting we are looking out for raiders you want to make sure you spot raiders from a mile away uh, because if they walk uh, and come close to your um, harvesters and then the alarm triggers and you tell everybody to gra gr uh, gather up weapons then if they have a bow they will fire a shot at the raider and then the raiders will immediately go and we won't be able to bring everybody back and we lose quite a lot of people and that is unnecessary and as i've made very clear this is uh, just human uh, management you want to make sure that you have the most number of people uh, at any given point of time so that is why i'm continuously scanning uh, going around uh, going to the primal vision and making sure that there are no approaching raiders our harvesting is happening picture perfect everybody went in as soon as the harvest hit this is a harvest season and we have a hundred percent workload so that is just ideal we, uh, you might have 200 300 percent workload during harvesting which is of course completely uh, terrible therefore this is a textbook harvest everybody is also bringing in the harvest so unlike last year where we had a quite a lot of overabundance of uh, work this time we don't and we are down to 78 percent workload with half of the uh, season of harvesting still to go so fall is still around but but that tells us that okay we can expand our uh, number of fields a little bit we are now going to go for this clump of trees in the middle because I want to build over here. So we have put in orders uh, on the other side, on the other branch of the far uh, bank of the river. But we are also going to put down orders in the center because we want to have a lot of uh, wood and branches for the coming age. Because as soon as the next stage comes, we will require a lot of wood to make these copper mines. So we will require that and for that reason, um, we will build up our wood storage. So here I think I still haven't uh, seen the mistake and therefore uh, I will have to go back and uh, ensure that uh, this mistake does not persist. There are six houses in the row over there so sorry about that i will go and change it 
trader comes in we always pick up straw we always pick up um, all the tenon because uh, we are not collecting enough and uh, it's a paltry sum of 16 which uh, we have a tremendous amount of purchasing power at the present and we will just go and uh, get that extra bit of tenon because we want to become a powerhouse of uh, leather leather is a very important um, thing to have around so here i'm building fine i'm building five houses and two uh, towers at the end of it so we put down a certain uh, number of sleds again uh, so that uh, we are able uh, to carry out heavy weights because we will increase our um, the number of trees that we cut down all of these trees in the center of the map uh, are going to be cut down because we want to ensure that we have a clear uh, base area for us to build in of course scan from time to time uh, we have a winter coming up so we are also going to cut down a lot of trees so i wanted to check to ensure that nobody is approaching especially in the direction where our boys are going to be where the trees are going to be cut so once we are cutting uh, down trees we will check in that direction once we are planting or we are harvesting those two directions are the same because the fifth golden rule of farming is that ensure that everything is compact all your harvesting has to be extremely compact bring everything as close as possible to ensure that you have the minimum walk distances so that your uh, job gets done as quickly as possible and everybody brings uh, the uh, harvested items as you can clearly see it's winter and we have brought in all of the harvest and that is all done with the minimum amount of walking required So in the winter we are not planting so we are going to ensure that all of our raw meat is dried that is a bit inefficient because uh, often they have a lot uh, so suppose they hunt and slaughter an animal um, or slaughter the hunt they have the raw meat in the sleds ideally in an ideal world they should take that sled and put it into the food dryer for drying however they don't do that they go and put it into houses or uh, granaries and if you don't tell them then they will also put it into warehouses and then some child will take it one at a time and put it on the food dryer but that is the ai we can't do anything about it so always uh, ensure that every kind of uh, um, every kind of uh, cereal is planted we are going to make sure that barley gets planted in the as near as possible because barley is a very important crop and over here we have some space so we are going to put in some iron corn because that is the most useless uh, crop out there however we want to ensure that we have iron corn so that once uh, the probability uh, so uh, the game is going to do a probability and it's going to roll every crop so it's going to roll MR first, it's going to roll uh, iron corn next and if the probability falls for iron corn to be affected, uh, infected and there are only three slots of them then that is going to get uh, infected and it doesn't go over to the barley uh, for the roll to happen. Uh, because if the roll happens on the barley then you are really in big trouble because if you have two three years where you don't have a barley harvest say you get two back-to-back -back bad uh, harvests of barley then you get three years where uh, raiders come in during um, harvesting season and you couldn't collect your straw 
then it's GG because your um, houses are going to be in disrepair, your granaries, your warehouses, your, uh, your animals are going to die because they don't have uh, enough straw or grain to be fed. Uh, if a straw runs out, then you feed them actually grain. So that is terrible. That's very expensive uh, food wise and uh, work wise because it takes uh, more work to actually go and plant and make all of those things. Um, so you have uh, you can get into a complete death spiral because you are unable to support any of your high population because you don't have the houses because everybody uh, is uh, exposed to the elements because your houses are no longer being maintained uh, and then uh, basically it's gg so ensure that you have a lot of barley as near as possible the next best crop is going to be MR for cereal because it gives a 50% chance of having two grains, so double harvest. And then you want to ensure in the Neolithic period itself that you have a gigantic amount of flax built. So that is something that we will be doing in the coming harvest. Uh, you want to have flax because as soon as you hit the copper age, uh, they will start demanding having uh, light summer clothes. So that is either leather outfits or um, linen outfits. So they don't require that in this age so we are fine but in the subsequent age they are going to constantly bother us uh, so the ai is going to use this gigantically noisy uh, notification to keep telling us that hey you need to build more uh, light clothes so we are going to ensure that we have enough flex going forward so that we are able to go ahead and give the, uh, those things to us so our uh, boys are out in the cold going and uh, doing, uh, picking up branches and whatnot so we can run them back because uh, it's terrible for them to be outside because if they are outside then uh, you have this issue that their health goes down or their morale goes down. Uh, and then thirdly of course they can die of hypothermia. And of course uh, as you have already understood it's very important that we don't uh, lose people to uh, anything give hyenas to whatever. Okay, I am going to uh, stop the episode here. I will uh, go in and ensure that that mistake that I did uh, is rectified. We are going to start our flex uh, cutting and we are going to ensure that in the coming episodes we finish the third quadrant which gives the maximum limit of extent of the Ozymandian kingdom and then we are going to turn 90 degrees and we are going to bring this uh, entire thing enclosed in one gigantic base which we are going to uh, complete over uh, the coming few episodes coming few chapters and i hope to see you uh, again in dawn of man i hope you're enjoying this fully planned city and uh, i look forward to your comments please tell me what you like what you dislike i look forward to your feedback and thank you for watching this has been the strategic indian signing out